South Korean researchers have developed a device they say can diagnose dementia in just five minutes. In fact, they say it's more accurate than the traditional method of diagnosis for dementia, where patients are asked to respond to questions and perform various tasks. It could help patients take preventative measures sooner. Ian Jin reports. The patient wears a headband-type device and closes their eyes. An EEG sensor connected to two points on the patient's forehead and one ear reads brain waves and transmits the information to the computer. The headband was used on 122 people, which included dementia patients. Significant differences were evident in the brain waves of those with and without dementia. The more severe the symptoms were, the point marking the brain waves to be the strongest moved to the left of the graph. The existing method for diagnosing dementia is by screening test papers called MMSC, which stands for Mini Mental State Exam. This exam has an accuracy of 80 percent. However, the latest method of reading brain waves only takes five minutes and shows a higher accuracy of 82 percent. When sound stimulation and selective attention tests are added, the accuracy rises to 89 percent. MMSE has some limitation. For example, you cannot repeat the same test again and again. So in our case, we use prefrontal EEG technique, very simple, to screen dementia patients. This is the first time that a dementia diagnosis model has been developed that has been confirmed to be simpler and more accurate than the screening test paper method. Researchers are already on the next step of developing the technology to diagnose mild cognitive impairment, which is considered the pre-dementia stage. If risk groups can be screened earlier on in the onset of dementia, patients can participate in prevention programs sooner, which will eventually reduce the overall number of dementia patients. In collaboration with other institutions across the country, research teams aim to complete a dementia preemptive diagnosis program within the next five years. Ian Zin, Arirang News.